All right. Hey, Sagittarius. So you guys, I am doing an energy check-in for soul contract. This is for your current situation, the current um, partnership you're dealing with. And you're going to know this is your read by your energy. Everything else is mutual. It's uh, independent and mutual. So we're going to pull what you are meant to gain, what you are meant to learn from this person and what they are meant to take away from you. And throughout all of this, you guys will know if this is your read or not. All right. So let's see what the mutual dynamic is. You and this person, Sagittarius, the mutual dynamic we have letting go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So it could be that, um, and I feel like this is um, unspoken and maybe even spoken, um, you know, maybe you can identify where you just kind of need to let nature take its course, divine timing and everything play out. Um, it could be that you're recognizing that it could be too, that you're sitting there in your mind saying, okay, person over here, um, I like you, but, uh, don't let's not pressurize anything. Let's not force anything. Let's let everything happen naturally. Right. So, um, let go of control issues. I will be bouncing back and forth when it comes to that card, just to kind of see how it's, um, taken a shape in this, uh, dynamic. So let's see what your energy is. Your energy. Wow. Okay. We have judgment. The king of wands coming through. And the ace of wands. All right. So there is a fear that this is not happening. It's not happening in the way that you want. All right. I do kind of see that and feel that. Um, with judgment card coming through though, I feel like um, with letting go of control issues, you could have been somebody in the past that has been kind of the driver of relationships and the dynamic and where it's going to go and where it's going to play out. And with judgment card coming through, that could be some recognition that, okay, let's, we're going to do this one a little bit different this time. I'm going to sit in my power. I'm going to sit in this King of Wands energy. I'm just going to be the visionary. I'm going to be focused on myself. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be the embodiment of a high sense of honor, a high sense of self. You know, I want to call in this new beginning um, and I'm, I'm going to make it happen. But I feel in the back of your mind, there could be some uh, doubts or a little bit of fears um, that maybe it's not picking up the way you want. But a, a, a gentle reminder, um, let go of control issues, right? So let's see what their energy is. What is their energy? All right, this Knight of Wands energy. We got the Three of Pentacles and the Magician card coming through. Um, okay, so as far as this person's energy, I this is all, po you guys have a lot of positive energy when it comes to one another. Um, if you guys have been sexual, I feel a lot of that strong energy coming through with the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands. Um, there's a lot of heat between you and this person. You know, whether or not you've been sexual, there's, that, um, there's no taking away the heat that's coming through here. Um, but I do feel like there is a sense of happiness, um, you know, with, with you guys, there is a sense of happiness, um, coming through. Um, I almost feel like this person, if there is, um, some sort of a small control situation going on, it could be that this person's not quite ready to settle down yet. Um, the magician in reverse, there could be, you know, a little bit of hints of the magic man, um, coming through here uh, maybe somebody's not ready to settle down um, but they do feel a deep connection to you and to this dynamic all right um it, it it's almost like i know when i when i pick sagittarius it, it, that's it i'm you know i'm throwing in the towel it's it um and i feel that there's a lot of excitement between you and this person but the excitement could also bring um some factors of uh um as you know, scaredness. I'm a little bit afraid. All right. So let's see what the mutual energy is. The mutual energy between you and them. So the mutual energy, you guys, um, here, you got this. It, this is not you guys. I don't feel like you guys are not on speaking terms, but I do feel there is a fear factor when it comes to getting involved in another relationship. Um, what's going to happen? You guys um, between each other, regardless of wh where you guys are at, what level you're on in this r relationship. Um, I almost feel like there has been talk about, um, well, I, you know, I don't, I don't want this to happen. I don't want to be rejected. I don't want to, you know, get all my feelings involved and then lose um, control of the situation or the outcome, you know, um, 
I just kind of feel like if you guys haven't built up to commitment, which I don't feel you have, um, it's like, I don't want to invest all my feelings and emotions into somebody and then end up getting hurt. I do feel like that is mutual energy. And that's why this person I feel is a little bit afraid to settle down. Um, and that's where you're coming through as, yeah, but I don't want to invest my time into you and it not lead to anything. Um, but I do feel like you guys are both hopeful for the future and where there has been some murkiness that kind of lingers between you and them. You guys both want to move forward. I feel like you both want to see the bigger picture come out, but, um, it's like, I want my way and they want their way is what I'm kind of seeing and feeling through this. Um, so let's see what, um, lessons are coming through. So the lessons, um, this is just what you guys are meant to, to kind of give each other. So I'm going to pull yours first and we're going to see what it is you're meant to learn from this person, what they are here to teach, heal, whatever they're here to gift you with. All right. So we have denial coming through, repressed emotions, rejection, and unable to see below the surface. So this is what they're bringing um, to your the forefront of your mind. All right. Um, and it could be too that this is stuff in the past. So insecurities of the past that are kind of resurfacing when this person um, comes into your life. All right. And it could be too that you're kind of looking at it as if everything is cured and, you know, things are all just on point for you. Um, it could be too that you just kind of struggle with that. Hey, is this beginning going to start? You know, are we picking up on it? The Ace of Wands in reverse. Um, you know, um, you know, that's struggling a little bit, um, but it could be based off of stuff that's happened in the past and we're not putting that past. We can't fit the past into this connection. Um, so you could be having some emotions come up through the past that are kind of being inflicted on this um, connection right here that you're not even aware of. All right. Um, but this person's definitely here to kind of help you see through those. Um, it just because you were treated or people didn't give you or get over gave or didn't or under you know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean that this one's going to, and you know, some of you guys might be thinking I'm ready for this. It, let, let's do it. You know, let's go for it. Um, it could be that, uh, there's, there's still a little bit of kinks that need to be kind of worked out between you and your spirit guides. You guys, um, we have karmic partner, conventional relationships, duty bound by societal conventions. All right. And I, the way I look at this card is it's not a karmic partner coming through. It's not a toxic relationship, but what this person is um, here to show you or, or put, um, it, you know, uh, this is like healing. It's healing those past relationships. It's getting rid of those um, people. Like if you, if you feel like this person's taking the lead and they're not giving you any control over it, um, you know, if you feel like people have just kind of led you and, and you never got to lead, um, there's just situations I feel are coming through here that maybe you feel you might be healed from that might be actually suppressed, um, you know, and this could be too kind of channeling through and going within and healing those um, situations of the past. All right. And you know, this could also be spirit saying, Hey, this person's here to show you that not everybody's the same. All right. Not everybody's the same, you guys. Um, you know, and, um, if you, the societal conventions, this might be where you think that, um, everybody needs to see you in this per person in a certain way. And, um, it's, it's removing that. Maybe you guys are one step above the rest where we're not doing things in old fashioned manner. Right. Um, you guys are, 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 this is like a new thing right here. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it could just be that this person's, um, bring into the forefront of your mind, um, some situations in the past that you, you still maybe haven't let go of, even if you don't see it now, it might be that this person triggers something in you later down the road where, oh, okay, that's something I need to release. And then we have beliefs coming through with similar or clashing belief systems, um, can bring you together or keep you apart. Okay. Um, and I feel like this is going to be something that is probably a constant um, throughout this, where we come together with ideas, beliefs, and visions, goals, and hope for the future. And then there's going to be instances where we do clash. And I feel like this is going to be something throughout your guys' journey that is just, it's, it's going to be a constant, you know, I mean, it's not a negative constant either. All right. So, um, you just keep in mind, these are, um, past, present and future situations that come through here. Um, so let's see what it is you're bringing to this person. What are you bringing to them? What lessons will they be learning from you? So we have, look at that, marriage, legal partnership, commitment, marital bond, and societal contract. Um, 
what I'm going to say with this right here is you, I almost feel like some of you guys could be dealing with somebody who's never been married or they have been married and they're like, I will never again. All right. Um, but with marriage card coming through, it's almost like a reevaluation when it comes to their views on marriage, the dynamic of soulmate. I see. Okay. So I feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who's not quite ready to settle down with you, right? Not just yet. Um, but you're, you, what you're doing is you're triggering a deeper bond. You're triggering a deeper meaning and you're bringing, um, the actual, um, um, instance of love, um, to this person, compatibility, companion, um, your best life partner coming through here. And that's that recognition. We have rise above drama, obstacles, pettiness, and finding the strength to rise. Um, so, I, this is what this person's gaining from you. So through your compassion, through your care, um, through your ability to kind of see maybe what they're even bringing to your attention. Um, I mean, this is beautiful energy because, um, this person, even if this is unspoken, um, uh, where you're coming through and basically I almost feel like this person is inadvertently teaching you something that you don't go back and tell them. Um, and through you seeing that it's almost like, a, through their unspoken, um, through your guys's unspoken healing and transformation. Um, you guys are doing each other such a big, um, uh, such a big like favor. I can't help but say it. I did. It's like favor. Like there's recognition here, but I feel like you guys are going um, be above and beyond. And this is like unspoken um, healing that you guys are, um, I feel constantly kind of giving each other. So let's see what is um, being, uh, being accomplished in this lifetime. What's going to be the accomplishment this lifetime? We have independence. Um, This is the right, right here. Look at this. You guys have, we're, we're not taking advantage of each other's, uh, you know, we're not taking advantage of that. We're, we're here. We're going to be a wish fulfillment. We're going to guide each other. We're going to be a gift to, to one another in the hugest way possible. We're going to reach the unattainable. All right. This right here is memory. It's intuition. And it's the recognition of the soul bond, the soul tie with the soulmate card coming through that lover's. All right. Um, that's a um, big, big energy right here. Um, you might not see it right now, you guys, but patience, patience, patience. All right. So let's just see what's happening next. What is coming through next? What happens next for you and this person? This is a, a beautiful read. What happens next? Look at that. We got justice. We got karma, justice, rewards, balance, success. All right. We got um, some new beginnings coming through here. Look at that. There's no giving up on this. Even if you guys feel like there's a distant pull, um, it's nothing that's going to stay. Um, it's nothing that's going to keep you guys away. It's nothing that's going to keep you um, back from one another. We got deep co um, communication, deep conversations, you guys, and um, just the essence of love coming through this dynamic. All right. So Sagittarius. I'm going to leave it here. You guys, I do hope to hear from you if this is something that you resonate with. You guys, take care.